Yo what's going on guys Tanmay here for simple snippets and welcome back to another video tutorial on dynamic web application development using asp.net ms sql as the database bootstrap used for front end styling and a bunch of other libraries that we've used so far so this is like the 11th video tutorial and we are going to be designing the very last page this is just the front end user interface designing and once we design all the pages we will get back into the back end development okay so before we start off this is what we've arrived at so far in the last video tutorial we designed this admin member management page if you have missed any of the video tutorials in this entire course in this entire playlist i will drop the link in the video description you can probably see a card so in this video we're going to be designing the last but very important page that is the book inventory page and this is again an admin task which means that only admin user can actually access this page now to give you a overview about what exactly this book inventory page is going to look like let's go to our demo page so coming to our demo page this is entirely how the web page looks like and i know there's a lot of information over here but starting off from the left hand side on this side this is one column and this is one column and on the left hand side we have a regular form we've been designing forms quite quite a lot so this this would be definitely easy and quick to design but on the right hand side you can see a beautiful user interface which actually is a data grid view but we have customized this data grid view using templates and i will be teaching you how to design that when we get into the backend part and this is a search enabled data grid view so if i want to search a book let's say past forward so if i say p a s t you can see i'm getting this book which is actually written by my friend amit goye it's on amazon if you want to buy and yeah we will be doing this dynamic part designing of the entire grid view later on but this is how the user interface looks like we only have to design this form and add a grid view in this tutorial so let's get started with designing this form a lot of things are similar coming from the previous tutorials so let's quickly jump to the visual studio id so coming to the visual studio id let's add one more page and this is going to be admin book inventory page so i'm just going to click on add new item in the web in the web forms we need a web form with master page and this is going to be admin book inventory hit enter and select site1.master so to give an overview we are going to be adding different books from this page so the admin user can access this page he or she can actually add a complete details about the book like book id the name of the book the author of the book and that is going to be done via this page or via this form he or she can also update that book he or she can also delete that book so for example So yeah if i enter the book id b001 if i click on go you can see i'm getting all the details about the power of subconscious mind book over here written over here and uh, we can update these things we can delete this book if you want and this is the complete functionality of this admin book inventory page okay so now again coming back to our code we've added the page let's start off with the designing what we can do is we can simply grab the entire front end code from the admin member management page just copy this and paste it over here save it let's refresh and uh, the page name is admin book inventory we have to manually type it because our links as of now are not working we will add those links later on so admin book inventory hit enter and yeah this is how the page is looking like and we have to make it look something like this okay so let's start off with editing this we have book details let's add book details over here coming to the top let me close other pages so book details is added what we have over here is a book so we need a book image which is there in the images folder so books.png save this if i hit refresh in fact let me just refresh it from over here it should change okay so it's changed over here next thing is we need a file upload component or file upload asp control so let's see how that looks so coming to that row below the horizontal rule right we need so there is a horizontal rule over here and we need the file of uh, file upload control below it we don't have a horizontal rule over here the design is slightly different over here so after this horizontal rule what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this horizontal rule hit enter and remove this horizontal rule and drag and drop a file upload button or file upload component the only thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to give it a class or css class 
both works you can give it a class also of form control okay let's save this and let's see how it looks like so there you go we've got that file upload icon or button along with the button and the you know entire component the next thing we have is book id and book name and what do we have over here we have member id and full name and account status we don't need this entire part let's remove it so in this row we need book id we'll need the button as it is right we need the book name and we'll expand this to 9 and we'll keep this as 3 and we'll completely remove this control or this division entirely select the entire division just remove it if you think i'm going a little fast i'm gonna share all this code individual page codes on our official website you will see the link in the video description let's save this let's refresh okay so book id and book name so we've added book id book name and it is not supposed to be read only let's remove this we'll give the placeholder also book name okay so the next thing that we need to add is we need to add three columns which are having four 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 size and in in the first column we have language and we have a drop down list as well as a publisher name and a drop down list so two labels and two drop down list on the second column we have author name as a label and one more drop down list or drop down control basically and then we have a text box with date over here we have a select box basically which can be used to select multiple things also or multiple genres so every book has a different category right and that category is basically the genre of the book so one single book can have different different genres as well so over here you can see the genre of this book is self-help as well as motivation so it has two different genres so let's quickly add this entire row so coming over here we already have a row which is of you know three parts so let's give them three equal parts four four and four first the first label has to be language in the first one but we have two components right so let's remove this division first or in fact you know let's just remove the asp control inside it and what do we have is the first thing that we have is a drop down list so this is that drop down list let's select it give it a css class or a normal class of form control okay so how do we add contents inside we can hit enter and we can add list items over here so how do you add that you can use the asp list item tag and this is that tag i just formatted everything if you want to format and indent all the code properly select ctrl a select entire code on this page hit ctrl k and after that hit ctrl f okay so everything will be formatted properly and this is how you add individual items and we are adding them as static items because we have limited number of languages right so we can add them so the first control is added in this first column of four size let's actually refresh and see how it looks like okay so you can see language is added over here similarly what we'll do we'll copy this label we'll copy this entire division of form group and we will completely paste it over here and now what we'll do we'll come to our demo we'll se select publisher name we'll give this over here and we'll just add two temporary placeholders we'll say publisher one okay value also publisher one and this has to be publisher two and this also publisher two so this publisher drop down list is going to be a dynamic drop down list because we are going to load data from the database in this drop down list when we actually go to the backend coding right now we are just adding placeholders let's refresh and there you go you can see publisher name drop down list is added so we've got language we've got publisher name now we can work on this column on this column we have author name and we have publisher date so let's quickly add that what we'll do we'll completely copy this entire column and replace it over here the label that we want is author name again i'm gonna add two placeholders a1 a1 
a2 a2 now these are placeholders the author names are also co gonna come dynamically from the database or whichever book we select that author name will be coming over here when you click on the go button save it and this is going to be a text box right so if you see demo this is going to be a publisher date but it is a text box with date property so change it to publisher date remove this asp drop down list instead of that add a text box let's copy this paste it over here let's see placeholder would be date it's not read only however it will have a behavior which is going to be text mode going to be date right select date save refresh come to our page all right so author name is added publisher date is added what do we have next over here we have a simple select box so this is not a drop down list this is a select box which is named as genre let's add that so again gonna copy this entire division or you know what let the division be as it is let's copy this genre let's paste it remove this text box from the third column we want a select box and in asp it is known as a list box so yeah the technical term is a list box now the way we add items inside this list box we are going to keep it static because there are only so many number of genres of different books right so there are limited number of genres we don't need a database to load extra genres over here all the time so we are going to keep them static and the way we add it is also going to be list items so i've just pasted different genres over here one thing to do is you have to change the selection mode to multiple so we have behavior over here we have selection mode has to be multiple because one book can have multiple genres and the number of rows that we want to see let's keep it four okay save it refresh coming to our page okay so there you go we've got the genre but our select box is not looking that good like this because we still have to add the class of form control so coming to our code let's just copy this css class of form control and give it to our list box save it refresh i think the user interface would change yeah the ui changed and now it is looking pretty good right we can add one more row actually so let's add one more row to this number of rows let's keep it 5 by default it is 4 refresh yeah one more row is added so what do we have next we have two rows with equal split we have addition we have book cost we have pages then we have actual stock current stock and issued books so this is the addition of the book this is the cost of the book and number of pages of the book the actual stock is the actual stock that you have in the library the current stock is because in a library a lot of members will take some books right so in the library the current stock will keep on changing depending upon how many members have taken that particular book so this will keep on changing and this will keep on changing however it is read only because you cannot manually change it whenever you issue a book these values will automatically change you can only change the actual stock right so that's why this is editable but this is readable you'll understand more when we get into the dynamic part and then we have one last column which has the book description so let's quickly add these three different columns so i'm going to minimize this also so this row is completely done so we already have one more row over here which is having a 4 4 4 split so let's rename the first thing to addition placeholder to be addition it's not read only so this is done this has to be book cost so let's replace that book cost over here it's not read only however the text mode is number because cost can be only a number not a text box we are adding basic validations these are not very strict validations save it the next thing we have is pages copy paste in the label paste in the placeholder again text mode has to be number copy this space it's not read only save refresh okay so we've added addition book cost and pages just like this now we have actual stock current stock and issued books so what we can do we can completely copy this row that we just made hit enter paste it over here now we just have to change the text to actual stock 
this is going to be a text mode number right place order also has to be actual stock the next thing is current stock it's a read only mode so we have read only equals to true and then we have issued books again a read only mode and the text mode has to be number save this refresh okay so there you go actual stock current stock and issued book is added and lastly we have book description which is a big text box we already have a big text box we just have to make it read only and change the description so let's do that over here make it book description it's not read only and the placeholder also has to change lastly we have a row which has three buttons over here add update delete over here we only have delete permanently so let's add those i'm gonna copy i'm gonna erase this mx auto i'm gonna make this four i'm gonna keep it delete copy this paste it over here gonna name it add hit enter gonna name it update and make this color as green right so it has to be success this has to be update as blue right so let's make it yellow by making warning and this has to be danger by the way all these classes are bootstrap classes by now you must be acquainted with them let's save this and let's see how our page looks like okay so there you go add update delete is added book description is done so we've completely done with the form if you see this is that form and this is how it looks like over here on the right hand side we have this beautiful grid view which is customized right now we don't have anything over here we'll just copy this heading come to our code scroll down change the heading and we have a grid view but obviously it's not going to be visible because it's not loading any data let's save this refresh and the title is changed to book inventory just like this this grid view designing we will do when we get into the dynamic part we're not going to do it right now and of course the grid view is not visible we've we've added the grid view in the code you can see this is that grid view but it's not loading data but yeah that's pretty much it we've designed this entire form just like this we have the grid view we still have to do that when we do the dynamic part when we load the data so yeah that's it for this video guys this was the last book inventory page via which the admin will add update and delete different books from the library in the library and this is only an admin page so a member user will not have access to this page so yeah this was the very last page left to design we've pretty much designed all the different pages if you watch this entire playlist in this proper order in the order that the playlist is we've pretty much designed all the pages i'm not going to design the about us and terms and conditions page those are static pages you can do that on your own but in the next video we will start with the dynamic part especially we'll probably get into the database design we'll design the database and all the tables and then start off with individual pages with the backend code with the c sharp coding so that's it for this video guys if you like this video please please give it a thumbs up that really helps a lot do share it with your friends and if you have any comments if you have any queries put them in the comment section i would love to hear your feedback so thanks for watching see you in the next one peace